I, you know, I know a lot of people, I asked them before when we first started, they're fight fans. So what I'd like to do is have them ask you questions. So why don't we go sit down in these little chairs and let the uh, audience ask us some questions. <laughs> Who wants to ask Sugar Ray something? Right there, yes. What uh, is the single event that got you involved in fighting in the first place? What is a, what is a single event that got you into fighting in the first place? Well, it, it wasn't necessarily an event. It was the fact that I was always ridiculed by my brother. I have three <laughs> older brothers, and I was not really what you consider athletically inclined. And they would show me the trophies, you know, see what I have. And it kind of like gave me an incentive to do something athletically. And I got involved in boxing because boxing at the time gave me a chance to like be somebody because I was too short for basketball. I was not big enough for football at the time. And boxing just became a part of me. My name is Ray Charles, by the way. Uh, yeah, really, my mother named me after the singer. But singing was, was, was not economically feasible. <laughs> so I started really doing my thing here. Well, for Ray Charles, boxing wasn't feasible. So <laughs> Gentlemen, white shirt. When, when you win. When you, uh, here. Thank you. When you win. When you win, yeah. What's going to be the next chapter? When you win, what's going to be the next chapter? For him, yeah. Well, see, again, it's like I said, one fight, and that's all I asked for. Because I rationalized with people's perception of me. They said, well, we don't, we can, we don't consider you stereotypical as a boxer. That win would just give me the self-gratification that I need. And then I, I have opened a restaurant called Jameson in Bethesda. In fact, I'll give you a steak if you like steak. <laughs> and uh, that's all, you know, that's all I want to do physically. My wife is in school for um, marketing and management. She goes to Montgomery College. And I have two beautiful kids, two boys, and that's all I need. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Who's given uh, Sugar Ray the best piece of advice that stuck with him throughout the... I'm repeating questions because people at home had to hear. Uh, the best piece of advice that stuck with him through the years. I would have to say my father and my mother because my mother and father raised six kids, seven kids, and it was always mentioned to us or told, in, instilled in us the fact that never give up, and if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. And I've taken that same uh, approach throughout life. That's great advice. Yeah. Okay, gentlemen, right here. Yes. In your mind, do you think Hagler can go after your line? In your mind, does he think that Hagler will go after his eye? I don't think, because I'm sure Hagler is intelligent enough to know that I am okay and I would never enter the ring being handicapped. Uh, I think he himself just wants to knock my block off. I don't think he's considered my eye at all. <laughs> he yeah. wants the eye in the surrounding yeah. area to come off. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. A, the whole thing, One the piece. package. Uh. But really, David, I, I don't, you know, the fact is, I had an injury quite naturally, but I think with today's medical technology, you know, it, it's advancement. I'm fine, I would never do anything that I feel I would be in great jeopardy. Uh, if we could go on, listen to the American Medical Association saying that that's banned the sport of boxing, I think boxing, like any other sport, um, because of the, the nature of the physical contact, we are uh, vulnerable to injuries. But I think boxing is so vulnerable for negative criticism because we don't have a constituency. But boxing is a great sport. They exercise a good, clean living, you know, and I think boxing is just a wonderful sport. Unfortunately, it's been uh, downplayed a great deal. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so all the way at the top, the lady. Um, did you ever worry that maybe one day you might end up with brain damage, like they say Muhammad Ali's now punch drunk and everything? Did you ever worry about that? Would you ever worry about ending up with brain damage and you use Muhammad Ali as an example of it? <laughs> <laughs> because I think Sugar, wants, Sugar Ray no. wants to answer the thing about no. Ali. Well, the fact is, with Muhammad Ali, I don't consider Muhammad Ali with brain damage. Maybe he just don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> Ali paved the way for me to be who I am today in boxing. I love the man dearly. Uh, as far as brain damage, I think if it wasn't for boxing, I would have brain damage because of unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the lady, the lady right there. Have you ever considered coaching? Have you ever considered coaching boxers? Box. Box. Yes, in fact, but you know, it takes a special individual. You know, it's like it takes a special individual to do what I do, but it takes a special person to devote and give something 
so so special to these kids. I've given advice, I've given clinics, but I think it takes a special individual to actually coach a kid and stick with that kid, give him good uh, pointers, sportsmanship, and not to put in his head, if you don't win, you're nothing. I think that's a bad thing about coaches today. You know, they give these kids this mentality, if you don't win, you're nothing. That's not true. It's a matter of competing and doing the very best you can. All right. I, gentleman in the blue shirt, yes. Yeah, if the fight with Hagler doesn't come off, for whatever reason, negotiation snag, is it going to be somebody else? I mean, is, is if, it... If the fight with Hagler doesn't, doesn't come off, will it be someone else for a Sugar Ray to fight? It have to be Hagler. If, well, if the fight doesn't come, come off with Marvin Hagler, I'll go back to Jameson, my restaurant. <laughs> yeah, where I'm going to get the free steak. <laughs> or I'm going to punch no. you out. You know what I mean, man? <laughs> gonna, if I don't get my free steak. <laughs> if the fight doesn't come off, no, nothing. There'll be no more. No more, no. Okay, we're going to take a break and come back with more of the show. Right here. <laughs> okay, we're back here with Sugar Ray. I want to I just ask you, if you could relive any fight and do it differently, what would it be, and how would you do it differently? Well, I, I was able to relive this, the second Duran fight, and I did it my way, the smart way. I ran, and it worked. Yeah, I was at that fight, and after that fight, when he said no moss and walked out of the ring, I paid all that money to get to New Orleans and see the fight. You know what I did? I called up a friend in L.A. and said, are you watching television? You, you seen the fight? What happened? Did you, <laughs> did you lose again? No, I won money. My man. Okay. <laughs> all right. Good night, everyone. Good luck, man. Thank you. Thank you.